I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel instead of the firstborn that openeth the matrix among the children of Israel. Therefore the Levites shall be mine. Because all the firstborn are mine, for on the day that I smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I hallowed unto me all the firstborn in Israel, both man and beast. Mine they shall be. I am, I am. Hmm. I am the Lord. And then, then just to something out of the New Testament, the 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians, the 25th verse. And it says, After the manner also he took the cup, when he had sucked, saying, This cup is the New Testament. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. In remembrance of me. Now I know it seems like the two scriptures are just kind of separated. They're really not connected. But if you just give me a little bit of time, I promise that it'll make some sense. Come on, preacher. And, and, you know, it's so amazing because I showed up this morning. I was feeling a little, ugh. I hope the Lord was really speaking and it wasn't the pizza. It, uh, it wasn't all the different things that yeah. I've eaten. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm talking, I'm talking. <laughs> but 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 I when I showed up to ministers meeting this morning, we he spent quite a bit of time talking about the tag. And and, and as a relay man and yeah, someone yeah. ran the four by four and, and all the relays, I, I understand what it is to pass something along. And and I want you to know that Overseer Walker and Overseer Dean, they passed something to me last week. Yes, they, they passed something to me that is so much so that it, it imparted to my spirit, man. It imparted to my soul. Uh, and, and so I realized they were talking about the past, and, and I was sitting there and I said, oh boy, I, I guess Bishop is going to go ahead and take this thing, and, and he's going to go ahead and preach. And he talked about making the shift. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, all right. Yeah, I know he's still going to preach. But yeah, I feel a little good now that I feel that the, the message is coming to me a little bit better. And so the title of this sermon is Shift. Shift. Welcome to the Matrix. Oh, oh my. Shift. Come on. Welcome to the Matrix. You better preach. And, and so we realize that there are certain things that are beginning to take place in these scriptures. We realize that in this ministry that there is a shift that is occurring. And one of the things I need you to realize as we begin to acknowledge that the shift is going on is that we cannot do business as usual. Um, when we talk about doing business as usual, we talk about only coming in on a Sunday morning, doing what we do and thinking that everything is all right. But when I walked in this morning to the sanctuary, there was something that I saw that was just a little bit different than the usual. Uh, when I walked in this morning, I saw another pastor sitting in the minister's meeting. And, and so I began to think about that thing and I said, there's a shift that is occurring because no longer are we just ready to minister to our own selves, but now the shift has occurred and we're ministering to others on Sunday morning. Uh, some of y'all may not be getting this. Uh, um, what I'm trying to get you to realize is that there is a shift that is occurring. We're now moving into the ministry of building and releasing capable people. For those of you who don't know that term, that is what we believe in here at United Community Cathedral. It is our mission. Building and releasing capable people. Uh, one of the things that I'm afraid that has happened for so long because we have not entered into the matrix is that we are not releasing capable people. Come on, let's go. 
Wow. And when you're not releasing capable people, that means you're not building capable people. But it's time to realize who we are in Christ. Yeah, I'm, I'm just a little excited up front. I better slow it on down. So, so we find that shift has to do with a change in place, a change in position and direction. It's other words, it just simply means move. Bring it back. Uh, there's times we got to shift in what we're doing. It's times we got to shift in our mind. It's times we got to shift in our position. It's times we got to shift in what we thought we knew. Welcome. Uh, so the Lord is requiring us to shift. And oftentimes when you shift, it becomes motion. It's a rhythmic motion. Because shifting is a constant movement, realizing that things do not remain the same Amen. unless it's in Christ. Come on. Mm. Mm. Come on, say that. Uh, and oftentimes we don't want to shift because it moves us out of our comfort zone. Wait. It moves us out of what we perceive yes, to be yes, stable yes. and Come a on. comforting to our soul. Whoa. But the reality is we find that our inner man becomes stagnant. Uh -huh. uh -huh. right. Where is my joy? Yes, sir. Uh, where is my fulfillment in life? Uh, if there's no movement, you will not enjoy what God has for you. Because to enjoy what God has for you, you got to shift. Amen. You got to shift. Amen. You got to shift. Enjoy yourself. Lord Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. My marriage today is better than what it was when I first started out. Amen. But I had some difficult times in the beginning part of my marriage because I thought the way that I did it was the right way. Yeah. And she thought the way she did it was the right way. Yeah. And nobody was willing to shift. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Baby. Uh, and, and so we find that there are a lot of marriages that are hurting because people refuse to shift. You better move on. Yes, sir. Oh, and, 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 and so I realized that one of the things that I had to do was not go into the relationship thinking one is right and one is wrong, right. but I had to make a paradigm shift. I had to make a mental shift and realize that the greater good is in the seat. Okay, y'all got to get that later. <laughs> the greater good is in what we can produce together. But if we're apart, tough now. Uh, we will remain divided in the marriage. We will remain divided in what we can do in ministry. Uh, uh, somebody will receive a promotion and somebody will receive a demotion. But you can't work together if there's not a shift. Preach, Bishop. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Our desires, our desires, our desires, um, desires, can someone say desires? Desires. Desires. Um, our desires are sometimes are not necessarily wrong, but they're just not appropriate for the season in which we live. Amen. Amen. Um, we have desires to do some things. We have desires to have some things. But if you get some of those desires before it's time, it will crush you because you're not prepared for those things. Oh, my God. Uh, I, I, I would like a Mercedes, but, but the way I live right now, I just need to stick with what I have. Come on, come on. Because the pressure of having something that I cannot afford will destroy my ministry because my concern and shift will be on the thing and not on the glory of God. Come on, go ahead. Uh, so there's some things that we desire for our lives. There's some things that we desire to pass on to the next generation. And they're not necessarily wrong. But they not, may not be the desires of the Lord. Amen. For our lives. 
I appreciate the scripture that Bishop Ware read earlier. Uh, because it says the branches that are not connected, they will be consumed in fire. But those that are connected, it says ask. What you did, glory. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever thought about the process of asking? Come on. Come on. Um, asking is a process. Come on. It requires strategic thinking. Um, asking requires that you ask out of necessity. Oh. Asking requires that you begin to think about what you need to do what God has commissioned you to do. Right, right. But if you're not connected, your asking will always be in vain. Oh, uh, because you're connected. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know what to ask for. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm going somewhere. So, so, so there's some things that I desire. And if I'm connected, I'll be able to... Mm. Yeah, see, I'm not able to act on my own will. I have to be connected to the source yeah. Someone who provides destiny, someone who provides purpose, someone who has given me a will beyond my own personal will, someone that has given a life giver, someone who has covered me when I didn't want to be covered, somebody who can do what I cannot do for myself. I need to be connected to somebody that's able to meet all my needs. And because I'm connected, I'm able to ask because I really didn't ask. My will, my will was, oh, my, 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 my. Yes, 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 yes. See, there's some things that I asked for because I didn't necessarily ask, but it's because God's will is in my life. Right, right. Lord God. Ah, he asked. I received. Ah, uh, yeah, not my will, but thy will be done. See, I can't in my own strength because I'll come up short. So we have to begin to shift. We have to begin to make in our lives to be able to say that this thing has got to change. Because we're living in times where God is restoring His order to the church. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, I, Yes. I've learned so much through the Levitical yes. Conference. Yes. Uh, I learned so much in what they preached last week. Yes. Uh, uh, because we got to realize that there's an order of things. Yes. And, and when there's an order of things, it just simply means that everything is lining up. Oftentimes we feel like things are not lining up in our lives. Mm -hmm. And so we say maybe we're just out of order, not necessarily because of sin, but, necessarily, but because maybe all the pieces that exist in my life have not begun to shift right. Right. into Me. place. Me. It's not that I'm lacking in a thing, but everything is just out of order. Come on, come on. Yeah. So when I come to a church like United Community, I'm looking to have something shifted. <laughs> but some of us spend so much time trying to fight the shift. Oh, it's mm. Trying to fight the change. Trying to fight being wrong. Trying to fight the reconciliation. Trying to fight what you got going on with your marriage. Trying to fight all these things that you have not taken time to just shift. Shift. So that the Holy Spirit can put some things right, in order. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we got to be able to shift because God is our source. Hallelujah. Uh, so, so we're a part of a ministry that is designed to build yeah. and release capable people. Yes. <laughs> If you haven't heard, Bishop has been talking about being a governmental church. Um, he said it a little here, he said it a little there, and, and I really hope you're catching this, because in order to be a governmental church, that means everybody has to participate. Right. Yeah. 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 
Amen. Amen. Well, Amen. Come on. Well, it's just not those who are in the clergy. It's just not those who are the, so, the so-called hierarchy. But it has to do with everybody making a mental shift yeah. together. Amen. Come on, Amen. come on. Amen. To accomplish a goal. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And this morning was that confirmation for me seeing that pastors will come. All right. Amen. Come on. Amen. Because they're hungry. I know it. Yes. Yeah, sure. Others will come. Not so that we can have them for ourselves, but so that we can build a people yeah. and then release them back into their fellowship. But if we refuse to shift while God is shifting, we will miss what He's doing. Now let us look at the text. In the text, and the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, yes. And I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix among the children of Israel. Therefore, the Levites shall be mine. And in order to understand what is going on within this scripture, we got to recognize that there was a history and a process that took place for them to get to this point. All right. Come on. Now, in times past, the firstborn was the one to receive all the honor. Come on, come on. They were the one to get the larger portion of everything divided from the Father's house. Come on, Amen. come on. That, that, yes, that's good Will stuff you? to me. Come on. That's good stuff to me. Right. But, but one of the things that was happening was that the firstborn was not always able to stand up and be counted as righteous. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I know the scripture says, and, and the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. And, and, and as we begin to look at this scripture, we begin to realize that the first was disqualified, and not necessarily for a bad reason, but because they weren't all able to hold the standard. Come on. Yes. yes. What was yes. the firstborn's responsibility? Come on. Well, the firstborn's responsibility yes. was yes. to tend to the tabernacle. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yes, yes, they, 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 they were supposed to deal with the tabernacle. They were supposed to be doing the things that the Levites were chosen to do. Yeah. Uh, and so you find that the firstborn were moved out of position because. And, and, and I'm going to jump to that because a little bit later. I just want to jump in right, right now. Because uh, then I have to really close out quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so we find that the firstborn was shifted or moved out so that the Levites could move in. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's what it says. Yeah. What it says. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and, and so, but God qualifies it by saying, the firstborn are mine. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Yeah. 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 And see, you have to understand that there's times where there has to be a shift yeah. so that those who are in proper position can move into their rightful place. Yeah. 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 Um, now the firstborn was consecrated right. to over this ministry, especially when they did the Passover. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so they start to refer to the Passover when they were coming out of Egypt. Uh -huh. oh, right. And they said all the firstborn males of mm -hmm. each household yes. and all the firstborn cattle and all those wonderful things, uh -huh. uh, unless the house bears the mark, yes. the blood, yes. 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 he will take their life. Come on. Right. And they said Egypt have never seen such a crime Come before. On. Come on. 
So why is this significant? This is significant because we have to realize that the firstborn was chosen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Amen. But at the same time, we also have to realize that it's one thing to move a people out of Egypt, but it's another thing to take Egypt out of the people. Oh, all right. Yeah, nah. <laughs> and one of the problems that God foreseen was that he was going to have a difficult time with people in the temple and Egypt in the temple. Oh, my Lord. Come good. on, man. That's good. Uh, so so we're finding that God begins to work this thing. Uh, and, and he starts to show that if we don't move, this people are disqualifying them. The, 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 something that is stable, something that is necessary, something that must remain consistent will be the Bible. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes. Um, we already had this incident where a strange fire was offered up yes. by Aaron's son. Yes. Come on. Yes. And the first two born yes. were killed. Yes. Or disqualified from the work. Come on. Yes. Come on. Glory yes. to God. So we find that in order to avoid having sin into the tabernacle, mm -hmm. that he just shifts. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, come yeah, on, come yeah. On. Thank you, Lord. Uh, so, so we find that a shift has occurred. Yes. Uh, we also recognize that one of the requirements is that they must train for at least five years to be able to provide a service in the tabernacle. Come on. Their come training on. began at 25. Come on. Come on. So that their service can come begin on. at 30. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Come on. Come on. It, it, it's amazing the similarities between Jesus and the ministry of the Levites. Yeah. Yes. Because his ministry began at the age of 30. Come but on, there was some on. preparation time. Yes, yes. One of the things that we have got to realize in a ministry that is about building and developing capable people, people is that there has to be a time of training. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, there has to be a time of training so that we can handle the things of the tabernacle. Because if we handle them incorrectly, or we offer up, come on, say it, come on, say it, come on, a strange fire, yeah. we'll find ourselves disqualified from the work. And oftentimes people are disqualified from their God-given work. My Lord. Oh, my Lord. Um, there's, a, there's a poem all my students learn, and I have a special mail program at the school, and, and it's simply this. Excuses are the tools of the incompetent. <laughs> Building monuments of nothingness. My Lord. Those who use them seldom accomplish anything in life. Well, yeah. oftentimes, our excuses is our strange fire. <laughs> that moves us out of position. Yes, sir. Uh, well, I can't do this. What have you been called to do? Who are you connected with? What has God called you to do in your life? Because I want to say the way is still there. Yes, Lord. It's still there. Come on. Still yes, Lord. There. Uh, don't reject what God has put on you. Yes. Come on. Come on. Because it's rejecting the priesthood. My Lord. Oh, my Lord. Uh, and because we're in the New Testament, we're all priests. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I'm talking to the whole body. We're all got to work in this kingdom. Yeah. We're all priests in this kingdom. Come on. Kingdom work. Yes, sir. Kingdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. King, king. Glory to God. Glory to God. So, 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 so we find that a shift has occurred. But what makes the Levite any different than the firstborn? Yeah. <laughs> Lord, what makes him any different than the firstborn? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, uh, one of the things that makes them just a little bit different is because they had a commitment to whatever they set their heart to. Yeah, you know you're right. Uh -huh. yeah. They had a commitment. Uh, they're, they're committed. To the work. Yes. Uh, uh, so much so that their zeal has caused them to get in trouble. My God. Mm, <laughs> my God. And their strength in the area. <laughs> you know, uh, 
It's not. Now here, here, here's the story. Here's the story. Of course, everybody knows the, the story of Simeon and, and, and Levi, and, and their sister was dishonored. That's right. uh, the man just thought he could just take her and, and, and just have his way with her. But the man loved her, but he still didn't do it the right way. Right. And to right. his brothers, he didn't, they didn't care. That, that, that's my sister. Yeah. Nobody's gonna dishonor my right. household. And, and so they took matters into their own hands. They, uh, they became strategic in their plan. Oh, yeah. Um, they allow all the men, so they decide to work something out. They say, I'm going to let Dad do this work, and but I'm going to have my ulterior motives. Um, it's not necessarily they were uh, 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 cursed because of their anger. They were cursed because of their methods. My, my, my. And so the story goes that they, they, they started to... Um, they wait till the covenant was made between the families and so forth. And, and then they waited till they became circumcised. Yeah. Uh, and, and after three days of being sore. Come on. Brothers, being yeah, sore. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Sore, circumcised. Uh -huh. uh, 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 they went in. Yeah. And killed everybody. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Jacob <laughs> cursed them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right before right before Jacob died, he, the, the the story went that uh, he called all of his sons together and he told Simeon and, and um, Levi that they're cursed because of their actions regarding their sister and how they treated the people. But they also noticed that the firstborn was disqualified as well. Uh, he was disqualified because he slept with his father's wife. Well, yes, 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 yes. Come on. Yeah, so, so there's immorality that was going on. So because you're the firstborn, it doesn't necessarily mean you're always going to do right. Amen. So, so, so here's the story. So, so as you go on through time, we realize that Jacob and, and his family eventually ended up in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Have, have you ever thought that there are times... You know, when the enemy meant something for your bad, uh -huh. and to dishonor God, yeah. God somehow flips that thing. He allows a shift to occur. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I need you to see this shift right now, because, because of their disgrace, because they were removed from the family, because they were cursed, they had to be isolated. Yeah, yeah. Because of it. Because of their isolation, they, they learn to just stick to themselves. Mm -hmm. And this becomes key as we begin to understand the text. Because the first one was disqualified because they had Egypt in them. <laughs> this group was not disqualified because they decided to live separate from the rest of Egypt. My, my, my. my. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They lived in a little place down the Nile called Gotham or Goshen, mm -hmm. G-O-G-H-E-N. Mm -hmm. and, and, and as a result, it was a place that Goshen, that, that um, Jacob's family had inherited. Mm -hmm. Right, that's right. Yeah. And, and, and so Jacob's family inherited that area. And in fact, all the Israelites would live there. Some would go to work, but his brothers, the Levites, decided to build tents and to study. My, 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 come on. Their work became to build tents and to study and not leave Goshen. Yeah. Or God. Come on. Goshen. Goshen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. And as a result, they remained isolated from the rest. So while the others were being indoctrinated, while others were enjoying the onions and the garlic and all the necessities of living in Egypt, these, these brothers decided we're just going to stay among ourselves. All right. So we see that a consecration was taking place because they did not want to find themselves disqualified again. Wow. Hey. Again. Come hey. on. Come on. Come on. Again. So in order for them to become move into this high position, they already had to have time of preparation yes. 
and consecration. Yes. So when it was called, it was not unfamiliar to them. They had studied the custom. They knew what was required. They knew how to build tents. They knew how to maneuver something because they had prepared. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Mm. Uh, so, 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 so we find out that the matrix had shifted. What is the matrix? It's something within, come on, or from which something else originates, develops, or taken form. We got to realize that there's from one ship, there's another ship. There's from a local church to a national church. The local church was the first born. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Well, so. But the well, National Universal Church is the Levitical priesthood. All right, all right. Y'all not getting this. Yeah. Uh, so, so we find that the matrix has begun to shift. Yeah. We find that the origin of the priesthood has changed. We find out that those who will serve has changed. Uh -huh. And we got to realize that we're moving out of this fellowship uh -huh. and into a universal
what am I trying to say? There's uncomfortable times ahead because you're going to have to change. 